I'm scared to start fundraising because I know that this means that there's going to be big changes to my channel. I'm trying really hard to be optimistic about all this, but I don't know exactly what's going to happen. And that's scary. Happy Thursday, everybody. It's Pitoni, your friendly Catholic vlogger. Okay, the hardest thing about having a YouTube channel is trying to explain why I put so much time into it. Because I put a lot of time into this. Um, and the question is, can I really afford to put in all this time? Let's play this really straight. Um, I need to know how I'm going to get an income in my life. I need to know, <laughs> how am I going to make money? How am I going to support myself and God willing a family one day? Right now, I'm juggling being a full-time student, uh, having a part-time job, working on this YouTube channel up to 20 hours a week sometimes. And I enjoy all of these things. Oh my gosh, I enjoy all the things that are on my plate so much. I also don't think I can keep this up for ever. So here's the question that I need to answer. Can I make YouTube my full-time job? Fundraising is always an uncomfortable topic. Go ahead, click away. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> this is this is going to be an uncomfortable part of a video. Great! But someone once gave me an insight that helps make fundraising look a little better. There are a lot of people in the world that want to make the world a better place, right? Um, you understand that. I understand that. We want to make the world a better place. Some of these people have money. Some of these people have time. Very rarely someone has both money and time. Fundraising is all about building a bridge between the people who have money and the people who have time. We all need each other. Right? Uh, it's, it's a team effort thing that goes on. Fundraising can be a great opportunity where, where two groups of people see something good that they want to see happen in the world and they team up to make it happen together. It's still really uncomfortable to ask for donations, uh, but I need to start asking. I, I need to know, are the things that I'm chasing here on my channel worth it? I know that I can't chase these things by myself and the things that I'm chasing here need to be defined better, <laughs> but uh, the simple version is we're building the community of online Catholic millennials. I see this as a noble and good thing to chase. And so I need to, to go out into the world and ask, hey, is this something that, that you believe is worthwhile and that you'll put money into? So it doesn't matter that it's uncomfortable for me. I need to start asking so that I can find out the answer to that question. It's possible that the answer will be no. Uh, it's it's definitely possible that people look at what I'm doing here on my channel and tell me no, that's not that's not worth investing money into, or I don't think that your strategy is quite right, or the answer can be no. That's of course a big part of what makes it so scary, but but if it's true that the answer is going to be no, I need to hear it. I need to know. I need to hear that because then that'll tell me that I need to let go of some of the things I'm doing here. That'll tell me that all of this creative energy that I'm pouring into this channel right now, I can't, I can't pour it all here. I have to start finding some other places to put some of it. And I say that especially out of a sense of responsibility for my future family that I hope to have one day. Um, because they deserve to have a good father and a good husband who has a good job. I want to be able to give that. So if the answer is no, I need to start learning that now so that I can let go of some of these projects that I'm doing here on YouTube and put that energy into something that that can turn into a career and, and that'll eventually support a family one day. That's that's where I need to go, right? It's also possible, of course, and this is what I'm hoping for, that the answer will be yes. People will see what I'm building here and say yes. Building the community of online Catholic millennials, that's, that's a noble, a noble, noble goal. And I am willing to support you in that. If that happens, <laughs> I'll be super excited. Also, to be honest, there's a scary dimension to all that. I don't want people to donate money to this channel because they want to enable me to have a lazy life. I I don't want people to give me pity money either. Um, although, I mean, I won't turn down pity money, but like, that's not the goal. The point is, the point is, I want people to see potential in this channel, see the same things that I see, and I want people to be, to, to sign up to support that. In other words, 
If the answer is yes, I see my patrons as investors. People that are invested in the idea of me accomplishing the goals of this channel. And they'll probably have some opinions on, on all that. Uh, which is exciting and scary. It's really both of those. Um, certainly it's a change. <laughs> the channel is changing. That's, that's what's scary. I, I'm not good at change. Um, I like variety, but uh, things that are changing above and outside of my control is always scary. But you know, it's time. Now it is time to start my fundraising page. Uh, oh boy, uh, please pray. So the question's out there now. And uh, I mean, I don't know yet if the answer is gonna be yes or no. And you know, it, that's that's something that's gonna take a while to, to really figure out. Um, I'm optimistic though, right? It's important for me to be optimistic, also realistic, uh, but one thought that consoles me in all of this is that whether or not this channel can succeed based on fundraising, it doesn't matter how many people say no. What matters is how many people say yes. There are a lot of things in life where it's really hard to get negative feedback to hear that people don't believe in us for something that we're chasing. But a lot of those things, you know what? It's okay if a bunch of people don't believe in us because that's not the important number. The important number is how many people do believe in us. So for this next year, the plan is uh, to ask as many people as I can find, to ask as many people as possible if they want to join my Patreon team. If they want to join my team and help build the community of online Catholic millennials. And that starts this week. Um, so, are you ready? Here's the ask. Dun, dun, dun. I'm wondering, do you believe in my channel, in, in what I'm doing here, enough that you would buy me a cup of coffee once a month? Also, can you think of anybody else, if you're so inclined, uh, that you think would be willing to support my channel and what I'm doing here? Just buy, buy me a cup of coffee once a month. If the answer to either of those questions is yes or even just maybe, uh, please check out my Patreon page. I put a link in the upside down exclamation point at the top right of the screen, also in the description box down below. And also I very much want to make myself available to people if they have questions about about my fundraising strategy and, and also my channel strategy and where I'm going. There's a comment section down below, as always. Uh, I also created uh, an email that you'll see on screen. I'll put it in the description box too. Contact ptony at gmail.com. And also everyone's invited. I'm going to do a live stream this Saturday. Um, it's going to be a Q&A about fundraising. It's going to be this Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. Uh, that's 1 p.m. Eastern time. I'll put a link to that down below too. Uh, you can click on that link and then there will be a countdown to when when the date, when, when the live stream starts. Um, and also a little button that says, remind me, set reminder. Uh, Click on that and you'll get a reminder when we start. And okay, that was my first official ask. Um, that wasn't so bad. Thanks so much. Uh, please pray for me. This is a scary time. <laughs> and of course, I'm praying for you too. That's all I got. God bless and ciao. So I'm starting a tradition where at the end of all my videos, I reach into this jar that is practically empty, but I pull out a name of one of, of one of my patrons, and this time <laughs> I have one. Check it out. His name is Michael Privats. Matt Michael, thank you so much for joining the team. It, that made me so happy uh, that even before I was able to make this video, you already started supporting me. God bless you, man. All right. Bye.